today in this video we will discuss about the multiplication of vector okay so first of all we will discuss multiplication of a vector by a scalar in the last video we discussed about addition of vector so if vector is given in rectangular components how it can be added subtracted how to find magnitude everything discuss so here in this video we will discuss about multiplication so first of all we will start with multiplication of a vector by a scalar multiplication of a vector by a scalar so if we are multiplying a vector by a scalar what will happen okay for example scalar or a, a new number on this scalar means numerical value only will be there. For example, the vector is there. Vector A is equal to 2i plus 3j plus k. We are multiplying that vector by 2. So, what we will get? 2a is equal to, what it will be? 2 into 2i plus 3j plus k which is equal to 4i plus 6j plus 2k which means if we are multiplying a vector by a scalar or by a number what happens we will get a vector with the magnitude multiplied by that times okay the best example of multiplication of a vector by a scalar is for force so when we are writing force you can write force by vector notation. So that force is already you have studied it is obtained as mass into acceleration provided mass is constant. So here if we say vector we got that vector f by multiplying this vector acceleration by a scalar mass. Similarly another example is momentum. So momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So here we are multiplying this velocity vector with the mass so that we will get momentum vector. So magnitude will be changed. In the case of velocity vector and velocity vector and momentum vector both will have same direction but magnitude will be different. Magnitude will be m times the velocity vector. Is it clear? So this is the case of multiplication of a vector by a scalar. And next we will discuss about multiplication of vector by a vector multiplication of a vector by a vector so when we multiply a vector by another vector two possibilities are there we will get a scalar quantity and we can get a vector quantity accordingly we will call it as scalar product and vector product so first we will discuss about scalar product it is also known as dot product. Okay. Dot product. So what is meant by this scalar product that we are going to discuss? So what's the speciality of scalar product? Two vectors are there. We are finding the product of two vectors. But after finding the product, we are getting a scalar quantity. So that is the significance of scalar product. Okay. So we are considering two vectors A and B. Vector A is acting in this direction. Another vector is the B which is acting in this direction. Let theta is the angle between the vectors. Okay. Two vectors are the acting at an angle theta between them. So the scalar product or dot product of the vector is defined as we will write like this and we will write it as a dot b. Okay, it will be that as a dot b and it is defined as modulus of a into modulus of b into theta. So scalar product is defined as a dot b. 
and that is equal to modulus of a into modulus of b into cos theta. So that's why you can see that we will get a scalar quantity. Why? Even though a and b are vectors, here RHS part you can see that modulus of a. Modulus of a means you are finding only the magnitude of a. Modulus of b again we are finding magnitude of b. Cos theta again it is, it has no direction. It is a trigonometric ratio. No? So these three terms also scalar quantity. So we can say that a dot b will be a scalar quantity. Okay. Is it clear? Now you may think that it is difficult to digest. But we will discuss it in detail. So you will come to know that. It will be easy only. Okay. So here. Here. So here we can consider. First of all we can find what is i dot i. What it will be i dot i. By this definition how we can write i dot i can be written as. Modulus of i into modulus of i into cos. What is the angle between i and a? Is cos 0, no? Same vector is the, what will be the angle between them? 0. And what is modulus of i? Modulus of i is 1. Again, another modulus of i is 1. Cos 0 is 1. So, you will get the answer as 1. So, we can say that the dot product of same no, unit vectors will be 1. Okay. Similarly, we can find j dot j. So same way we can write modulus of j into modulus of j into cos 0. Modulus of j is 1. Modulus of j is 1. Cos 0 is 1. So we will get 1. Again, we can find k dot k same way k dot k. So what you will get? Modulus of i. Sorry, modulus of k into modulus of k into cos 0. That also you will get it as 1. Okay. Now we can find i dot i dot j. What you will get? i dot j is equal to modulus of i Modulus of j into what is the angle between i and j? Angle between i and j is 90 degree. Why is this 90 degree? Already we, you know that these are the unit vectors along x, y, z directions. So along x direction unit vector is i cap. Along y direction unit vector is j cap. And along z direction unit vector is k cap. So, the angle between them is 90 degree. Okay. So, we can write I modulus of I into modulus of J into cos 90. That will be equal to 90. Okay. Similarly, we can find J dot I. Sorry. What it is? J dot K we can find. What you will get? Modulus of J into modulus of k into cos 90 that is also 0 same way we can find k dot i k dot i k is along the direction i is along x direction modulus of k modulus of i cos 90 so, this is also okay. Is it clear? So, we can write k dot k is 0, i dot i is 0. Same way you can find j dot i. Instead of i dot j, if we are finding j dot i, what you will get? Modulus of j, modulus of i into cos. In that case, also angle between them will be 90 degree. So, that is equal to 0. Okay. Is it clear? So, these are the some information about scalar product. Okay. Now, we will discuss some properties of scalar product. Properties of scalar product. First one is that 
we can say a dot b is equal to b dot a. This commutation. Why it is a dot b is equal to b dot a? A dot b if you are writing modulus of a into modulus of b into cos theta. And b dot a also same will be modulus of b into modulus of a into cos theta. No? So here what you get? Modulus of a into modulus of b into cos theta. So if you find here also what you will get? Modulus of b into modulus of a into cos theta. This modulus of b and modulus of a are only numerical values. No. Only magnitudes are the numerical values will be there. So if you multiply, you will get you can 1 into 2. You can write it as instead of 1 into 2, you can write 2 into 1. No. So like that only here also. Okay. Is it clear? That's why we can say that a dot b is equal to b dot a. And next one we can write a dot b plus c. This can be written as a dot b plus a dot c. Okay. Is it clear? a dot b plus a dot c. In that way we can write. This is another property. And next one already we discussed if same unit vectors are there their dot products will result into one that just now we discussed i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k is equal to j ok is it clear that should no and now we can find before discussing still some more properties, first of all we can find what is the scalar product in rectangular components. Okay, before that one more property we can discuss. So here we have written a dot b is equal to modulus of a into modulus of b into cos theta. So if the two vectors are perpendicular, not necessarily that it should it will be unit vector. If any vectors are the two vectors are the if it is given that they are perpendicular to each other, what will be a dot b? It's very easy, no. So if the vectors are perpendicular, if the vectors are perpendicular, what we can write? If the vectors are perpendicular means theta is equal to 90 degree. So in that case, A dot B is equal to zero. So we can say that if the scalar product of two vectors are zero, that vectors will be perpendicular. Okay. So this is one condition to check whether the two vectors are perpendicular or not. Sometimes they may ask, given two vectors are the check those two vectors are perpendicular or not. How you can check? You can find a dot b. So if a dot b equal to zero, you can write they are perpendicular. Okay? Is it clear? Similarly, if two vectors are parallel, if two vectors are parallel, scalar product will be, what you can write? a dot b can be written as Modulus of A into modulus of B into cos theta. Here theta will be, theta is 0 B. So what you will get? Modulus of A into modulus of B. So if two vectors are parallel, scalar product will be the, but it will be the result or it is the result that obtained by the product of magnitudes of A and B. Okay. And if the two vectors are anti-parallel, what happens? If two vectors are anti-parallel, if two vectors are anti-parallel, anti-parallel means what is meant by anti-parallel? Theta is equal to one eighty degree. Theta is equal to one eighty degree, which means cos one eighty is equal to Cos 180, what is the value of cos 180? Minus 1. Hmm? Okay. So, 
So what you will get in that case? You will get a dot b is equal to a dot b is equal to modulus of a into modulus of b into cos 180. Cos 180 is minus 1. So you can write it as minus of modulus of a into modulus of b. Okay. So like these problems will be asked. Check two vectors are perpendicular. Sometimes they will ask find the value of uh, what coefficient of i or j or k d1 will be will not be given. They will given that these two vectors are perpendicular. Find the value. Or sometimes they may ask what is the angle between. Find the angle between them. Okay. So like those type of questions will be asked. Okay. So before discuss before going to the question section, we will discuss how we can represent scalar product in rectangular components. That we will discuss now. Okay. Is it clear? In rectangular components. Scalar product in rectangular components. Okay. So the vector should be given in rectangular components. So then only we can find the scalar product in rectangular components. So we are writing two vectors are the a and b. Let the vector a is represented as ax i cap, where ax is the magnitude or coefficient of i. a by j cap plus a z k cap. Similarly, b can be written as bx i cap plus by j cap plus b z k cap. Now we have to find the scalar product. Okay. And let theta be the angle. Okay, and B it is mentioned. Let theta is the angle also. Theta is the angle between them. So first we will discuss how to find the scalar product in rectangular components. So we can write A dot B. So that can be written as Instead of A, we can write AX I cap plus AY J cap plus AZ K cap dot. This is very important. Simply, if you write two brackets, that is not enough. Here, this simple dot symbol is must. Otherwise, you will not get it. That it will be completely wrong. Okay. So, AX I cap plus AY J plus AY J k plus a z k k dot b x i k plus b y j k plus b z k k we are finding this ok so we can write a x i dot b x i normally what we are doing similarly plus a x i dot b y j we have to do like this no axi dot bxi then axi dot byj again axi dot bzk again we have to do bx ayj dot bxi no. and last one also same way we have to do no? here also like this okay so that we have to do that we are going to do now. Okay. So what we have to do? We can write AXI dot BXI plus AXI dot BYJ plus AXI dot BZK. Plus next a y no a y j dot b x i plus a y j dot b y j plus a y j dot b z k plus not over nine terms we have to get a such K 
डॉट बी एक्स आई प्लस एस के डॉट बी वाई जे प्लस एस के डॉट बी सेट Now it seems to be very tough, no? very hard, because so many terms are there. No? Nine terms are there, very difficult to do. Remember this also. But it is very easy. Why? Already we discussed. I dot I is equal to J dot J is equal to K dot K is equal to one. I dot J equal to zero j dot k is equal to zero i dot k is equal to zero so remaining all it will be zero so only which terms will be there this term will be there then this is not plus this is dot okay the x i dot b and next this term will be there and this term remaining all terms will be zero why Here i dot j will be a x and b y are only numerical value. So a x b y we can write i dot j. So this term will vanish. Here a x b z i dot k it will be zero. A y b x j dot i it will be zero. Again a y b z j dot k will be zero. A z b x k dot i will be zero. A z b y k dot j will be zero. Only our three terms left. That is. A x b x i dot i is one, j dot j is one, k dot k is one. So what we will get our result? We will get it as a dot b is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. Now it seems to be simple. No, a x b x. Plus, no need of writing entire step directly. This uh, for your understanding purpose, we discuss it in step by step. Okay, only final result matters. A x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. That is the scalar product of or that is the scalar product in rectangular component. Okay, a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. Okay, is it clear? Understood? No. Now, if they asked to find the angle, okay, if it is given that vectors are given rectangular components, find the angle between the vectors. How will you do? That we will discuss now. Okay, how to find the angle between the vectors? So here two vectors are there, a and b, and theta is the angle between them. And already we know that a dot b is equal to modulus of a. Into modulus of b into cos theta and a dot b already we written in component form that is given by a x b x just now we discussed plus a y b y plus a z b z. Now what we have to find? We have to find the angle between the vector. Can you find modulus of a? Can you find modulus of b? Only you have to find angle. It is very simple, no? How to find modulus of a? We can write modulus of a is equal to root of square root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square. Similarly, modulus of b is given by root of square root of b y square or b x square plus b y square plus b z square okay is it clear so we know modulus of a modulus of modulus of a we know modulus of b we know can you find cos theta so we can write cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by we can write a dot b by Modulus of a into modulus of b. Modulus of a into modulus of b. And a dot b we can write a x b x plus a y b y 
प्लस ए सेट बी सेट डिवाइडेड बाय मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ए वी कैन राइट रूट ऑफ ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए वाई स्क्वायर प्लस ए सेट स्क्वायर अगेन मॉड्यूलस ऑफ बी वी कैन राइट रूट ऑफ बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस बी सेट स्क्वायर so once you find out cos theta very easy you have to find the angle theta no is it clear so this is the way of finding the angle between the vectors okay is it clear understood no now we can discuss one or two problems based on this okay find the scalar product of the vectors find the scalar product of the vectors i plus j plus k and 2 i plus j minus k we have to find the scalar product so we can write we know that no what you can we have to write a dot b can be written as here it is given in rectangular components so we can write a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. So what is the value of a x? A x is one. A y is one. A z is one. B x is two. B y is one. B z is minus one. No. So we can write one into one plus sorry one into b x. What is the value of b x? Not one. No two. So one into two, one into two, plus one into one, plus one into minus one. Just we have substitute a x, b x, a y, b y, a z, b z. Okay. So what do you get? Two plus one minus one. So you will get that. So you got, you can see that it is only a numerical value, no direction at all, no i j k component. So we can say that it is a scalar product. Okay, is it clear? Now we can discuss the next problem. Okay, find the angle between the vectors. Find the angle between the vectors. I minus k and I plus j plus k. Two vectors are given. You have to find the angle between the vectors. Okay. So first of all, to find the angle, you know the formula. Cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a into modulus of So here vector a is given i minus k you can write vector b is given i plus j minus k if you interchange a and b also no problem because a dot b is equal to b dot a okay it will not make any difference now first we have to find a dot b a dot b we can find very easily how to find a dot b a dot b is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. Okay. Now a x b x. What is the value of a x? A x is one. B x is one. So find it. A y. What is a y? Here no j component is there. So zero into a y is b y. Zero into one plus minus one. Here it is plus one. Okay, this is i minus k and here it is i plus j plus k. So a x b x a y b y a z b z four to be added. So one into one zero into one here minus one into plus. Okay, what do you get? One zero into one is zero. We got a dot b is equal to zero. So now no need to find 
a dot b is equal to zero. So no need to find modulus of a and modulus of b by directly numerator is zero. So if denominator whatever value is there that will become zero. So cos theta is equal to zero. So you can write theta is equal to ninety degree. Okay, is it clear? Understood? No. Now we will discuss the next problem. Angle between the vectors. I plus J plus K and I plus PJ. Find the angle between the vectors. This vectors we have to find the angle. Procedure is same. So cos theta is equal to A dot B divided by modulus of A into modulus of B. A vector can be written as 2I plus j plus k and vector b can be written as i plus 2j. What we have to find? We have to find a dot b. So we can write a dot b is equal to you know ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. Ax bx. What is the value of ax? Two. B by sorry bx value is one. So you can write two into one. Two into one plus one into two plus one into c. Because k term is not. You can write if you are confused. You can write zero k that or zero j if any term is not there. Okay. So what you will get? 2 plus 2 plus 0 which is equal to 4. So we got a dot b as 4. Once you got a dot b is equal to 4, what you can do? You can substitute here. So before that you can find modulus of a and modulus of b. No? Can you find? So we can find modulus of a that is equal to root of ax square plus ay square plus az square which is equal to root of what is ax square ax square is 2 square no 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square so that you can write it as 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 6 so you got modulus of A is equal to root 6. Same way you can find modulus of B. Modulus of B is equal to root of Bx square plus Dy square plus Dz square. So that is equal to root of 1 square plus 2 square. 0 is equal to It is not there. 1 square plus 2 square. 2 square is 4. 4 plus 1. Okay. Now you can substitute here. So you can write cos theta is equal to a dot b is 4 divided by root 6 into root 5. Or you can write 4 by root 13. Or we can write next step if you want, you can write like this also cos inverse 4 by root 13. If you know the angle, you can write if it is in previous place it was 0, no? So you can write cos theta equal to 0. So theta is equal to cos inverse 0, which is equal to that value here. It is difficult to do the calculation root 30, you have to find then 4 by root 30 value you have to do. After that, for which angle cosine of that gives this value 4 by root 30 that you have to see. That angle you have to write here. Okay. Otherwise, up to here it is zero. Understood? No? Okay. Now we will discuss one or two more problems. Check whether the vectors are perpendicular. Whether the vectors Di minus k and 2i plus 
सिक्स के आर सो हाउ टू चेक टू वेक्टर्स आर परपेंडिकुलर आई टोल्ड यू वेरी इजी इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग दिस केला प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द वेक्टर वी कैन से दैट इफ इट इज जीरो इट विल बी परपेंडिकुलर ओके सो वी कैन राइट इफ ए डॉट बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन ए एंड बी आर प्लस माइनस वन इंटू सिक्स सिक्स माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी कैन से दैट ए डॉट बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस वेक्टर द गिवन वेक्टर्स आर परपेंडिकुलर गिवन वेक्टर्स आर परपेंडिकुलर ओके So this is the way of checking whether two vectors are perpendicular or not. Very easily, you can find the scalar product and you can check. Okay. So last one more problem we will discuss. Okay. Find the value of m for which. The vectors are perpendicular. Find the value of m for which the vectors are perpendicular. Okay, so m i plus six k. So six k. Where m i plus six j minus two k. And two i plus two j plus four k. Okay. Given that these two vectors are perpendicular, we have to find the value of m. So, given a dot b is equal to zero. If you are considering this vector as a and this vector as b, we can write these two vectors are perpendicular or they are equal. So we can write a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z is equal to zero. So we can write a x into b x m into two, a y into b y six into two minus Plus so we can write plus minus two into this zero that already we know. We can write two m plus twelve minus eight is equal to zero. So we can write two m plus four is equal to zero. So we can write two m is equal to minus four or m is equal to minus four by two which is equal to minus two. Okay, so for this value, we can say that these two vectors will be perpendicular. So when we are substituting m is equal to minus two, you can see that those two vectors will be perpendicular. So this is the way of solving problems related to scalar product. I hope all of you understood it. What is meant by scalar product and properties, and how we can solve problems related to it. If you are having any doubt, contact me. Okay. Thank you.